Hey guys, so I've got an exciting video for you today. It is all about the Natasha Denona brand new Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadows. And I got all five of the new colors. Um, I ordered them off of Sephora. They arrived to my house pretty late yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to play with them, but I wanted to get this video up. So this is gonna be a total first impressions. I haven't even opened up these boxes yet. So we're gonna be doing some swatches and I will be eye swatching a couple of these. I did an eye swatch video for the Pat McGrath uh, single shadows and it just took so long for my eyelids to recover. I apologize. I'd really love to eye swatch all of these for you, but it, my eyelids are just too sensitive. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today. And if you're wondering why I'm sitting here in a t-shirt, but it's July 4th, I don't know when you're going to be seeing this. Maybe on the 4th, if I can really do this and edit it quickly, you may see it on the 4th, but you'll probably see it on the 5th. So if you did celebrate the 4th, I hope you had a lovely one. But because it's the 4th, I was just feeling lazy. So I'm just wearing like my house t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into this. Natasha Denona just came out with these. There are five new colors and let's go ahead and just bust them open. Like I said, I haven't even opened up these boxes yet. The boxes are color coded as you can see. And let's start with Moonstone. This one seems to be the lightest. The packaging is really nice. It feels a little weighty, like weighty enough to make it feel uh, luxurious. And these are made in Italy. They have an 18 month shelf life. They are paraben free, not tested on animals. And I believe they're $25 each. So I did watch Natasha Denona's Instagram story about these shadows. She was like swatching them on her arm and also putting them on a model. And these uh, look to be kind of like other liquid eyeshadows I have. Uh, they're very metallic, they're very shiny, and they're supposed to set down completely. So we'll definitely be testing that out. So here is Moonstone. It's got an interesting applicator there. It kind of looks like it's sitting back a little bit. Here is a swatch of Moonstone. Ooh, pretty. This one looks really reflective. It doesn't look like it has any sparkles in this one, and there's just a hint of warmth there. Oh, there you can probably see. There's like a little hint of like a peachiness there. So this is Moonstone, very pretty. And then next let's try Zone. Ooh, wow. This one looks uh, a little funkier <laughs> than Moonstone. This one looks like it has little like crystals in there. This also looks like maybe there's a little bit of duochrome. Ooh, let's watch this one. So this one is Zone. Yep, so this one has, it looks like it has little micro glitters in there. And then the tone of it has like just, just the slightest hint of green in there. But I feel like if anything, there's like a little bit of a shift to almost like this moonstone color, like a little bit peachy. Ooh, that's really pretty. That one's very, very interesting. So it's much more yellow than moonstone. Moonstone has more of like a warmer peachy base and this one has more of like a yellow gold base. Ooh, fun. Okay, the next one is Obeyed, and I think Natasha Denona mentioned, again in her Instagram stories, that this one, I think, is basically like the liquid version of one of her powder shadows, maybe in the Sunset palette, there's Obeyed. So this is what Obeyed looks like in the tube. This one looks a little bit more coppery than the other two. Oh yeah, there's a little bit more orange in this one. And this one reminds me, like the finish of it reminds me of Moonstone. It doesn't have quite as much going on as Zone. So there is Obeyed. Sorry, I hope you guys can see the color. It's really hard when they're so reflective because all you see is the light shining off of it. But there is Obeyed. Out of these three, the warmest so far. Like I said, it's um, kind of coppery in tone. And I'm spying like a few micro glitters in there, but not quite as busy as this one, but a little bit more than Moonstone. I feel like I don't really see any micro glitters in Moonstone at all, but I do see some in this Obeyed color. Okay, next we have Sienna. Ooh, this one kind of looks like Zone. It has some crystals in there, and it also looks a little bit duochrome -y. Ooh, pretty. This one is the most earthy, I want to say. So here is Sienna. So this one is the most brown. And there's like a slight shift maybe to green in there, like very, very slight shift. Maybe like a greenish gold is a little bit more accurate. And then there's little itty bits of crystals in there, giving it a nice reflect. But yeah, I want to say um, Sienna and Zone 
kind of have the most going on. They have like the most micro glitteries in there. They have that slight duochrome effect in there. And I feel like Obeyed and Moonstone are a little bit more like straightforward, if you will. All really beautiful so far. And finally we have Nightfall. So this one is, I believe, the deepest out of all five. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. Hold on, is that better? It has, it's so funny because in the pictures on her Instagram stories, all I could see was like this kind of like black based purple. And I thought, oh, that's really pretty. But in real life, the crystals shine like this kind of that greenish yellow again. And then there's like a little bit of duochrome going on. This one, I will say just swatching it on my hand, it feels the driest. And I feel like I can feel the bits in there. The other ones were very, very smooth, but this one, just like brushing it on, I could kind of feel it. It just feels a little dry, a little gritty. Beautiful. Let me see if I can get the reflect in there. Okay, so you can see the blackish purple in there, but I, I'm hoping you can see maybe like the other colors going on. It's so weird how the camera picks up color because there's so much more going on. It's almost like multicolored micro glitters are in there, not just purple, which is what I feel like is all I can see in the monitor. This one is so much more complex than I feel like you guys can see. Okay, so Moonstone is the like first swatch that I swatched, I wanna say maybe five minutes ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my clean forefinger here and I'm gonna run it over this color. I wanna see how it sets down. So. It's like most of my other shadows that say they set down completely. It pretty much doesn't move. It's not gonna smudge or anything like that, but I did, and I did rub my finger over it quite a bit, but you'll get a little bit of pigment come up, but not much. All right, so let's try these shadows on. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which ones I wanna try on. So I think I wanna try on Sienna, which is this one here, because that one's just so cool. I love that like greenish gold like shift in there. And then I think I definitely need to try this on. So I think what I may do is put this like all over the lid and then maybe I'll um, just put this closer to my lash line. We'll see how that looks. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, I think I'm just gonna swipe this straight onto my lid. That's how I saw Natasha Denona do it. And that's probably what I would do, something with an applicator like this. So let me just swipe this on. And with shadows like this that set down completely, I like to do one eye at a time. I really don't wanna get stuck with that second eye. I've got my Sonia G Worker 2 brush, and I like using this brush to blend out liquid shadows. That is pretty. You know what this reminds me of? Hang on one second. Okay, so this one is actually reminding me, I believe of one of her actual potted chroma crystal top coats. It reminds me of this one. Do you guys have this one? This is the Burnt Terracotta Green. Take a look at what's on my eye and then this is the Burnt Terracotta Green very, very similar. Like it has a similar color story. It has that kind of rusty base and then it has that green gold shimmer to it. So if you have this one and like this one and you prefer maybe a more creamy liquidy formula with an applicator like this, then Sienna is definitely the way to go. Okay, so this is pretty much dried down. I wanna see if I can build this up a little bit. So I'm going to apply another layer and this is just for science because I think personally I would probably leave it at that one layer I really like uh, these like liquid cream shadows uh, used in more of a sheer way I like a wash of them I don't really like like a thick layer of these kinds of eyeshadows work out that edge a little bit yeah, if you want a quick one shadow look, this one is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Throw on some liner, mascara, you're pretty much done. I really, really love that. 
I have to say, at least for this color, the set time is good. Gives you enough time to like work it out and blend out the edges, but then it just sets. Then you're like good to go. Oh, I love this color. You know, I feel like these are a really nice follow up to her potted ones, like the one I just showed you. I haven't had many problems with them, but many people have talked about how these have dried out for them. So I feel like this is a good like follow up to those. Like if you liked the effect of these, um, but they dried up on you, I think you're gonna really, really like these. All right, so that is one coat and then this one is two coats. So because these set down completely, I think that they will layer really nicely. So I'm gonna layer this on top of it. This is the Nightfall again. I really want to use this dark color. It's just, it's so cool. I'm gonna use it kind of like a liner and see what happens. So I'm just gonna keep this close to my lash line here. Yeah, this one definitely has like a drier, kind of grittier feeling to it. It's not, it's not bothersome though. I don't, gritty may be too strong of a word, but it's like I can feel the texture of it more than any of these other four, at least when I hand swatched it. I'm gonna use like a really small blending brush here and see if I can blend that out. I'm getting a little bit of like glittery fallout here. I think I wanna try a little bit. I think because this for me is a little bit drier, um, it like doesn't blend out quite as seamlessly as the other one. Yeah, maybe not go back and forth. I think, yeah, I think it's cooperating a little bit better now. Like when I was going back and forth with this one, I feel like I was just kind of like picking it back up. But if I just go in one direction, much, much better. I really like this applicator. The angle of it is like perfect to apply to your lid. So pretty. Look at that like sparkly shimmer. Perfect for the holiday. They're like fireworks on my eyes. Okay, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna take some of this Nightfall just right onto my brush here and apply it to my lower lash line. This could be the worst idea, but let's see. I got some on my waterline, so I'm wondering if like the little crystally bits are gonna be bothersome, but it's not, it's not bothering my eye at all. Oh, cool. So I think that worked nicely. Just using a small blender brush, I just added the shadow just to like the tips here and just ran that down there. I think that's really nice. And because it sets, it's not gonna smudge. So that's really cool. Now I wanna add, now I wanna add like a little bit of gold to the inside here. Uh, let's try this zone color. This is the other one that just looked super funky. I'm really pushing it. This could be disastrous. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Can you guys see that? This is so much fun. Okay, let's add it to the other side. All right, so my first impressions of these are really nice, and I do feel like some of these colors may look a little bit similar on the lid. I think if you're more into like the duochrome and the sparkly, I would definitely recommend getting the Zone, Sienna, and Nightfall. These three, I think, have the most kind of like interest in there. They have the most kind of like color shift. And as much as I like Nightfall, the texture of this one is different from the other four. It definitely, like I mentioned, it's definitely a little bit drier. I think it works fine. It just, it's just a little bit different from the others. So I just wanted to point that out. And then if you really just kind of want like a satiny kind of finish, I think these two are your best bet. That would be Moonstone and Obeyed. You'll still have plenty of like glitz in there. You'll still have plenty of like reflect, but they're just not quite as like shape shifty and like disco-y as these three. Yeah, so these two I would definitely say are like the safest if that's your kind of thing. But they're all really beautiful. And the three that I played with, so much fun. I really like that Sienna for like an all over eyeshadow. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I know this was really quick, um, but like I said, I just wanted to get some swatches and a quick little demo up for you in case you were interested in purchasing these. Um, I know that they're available online at Sephora. Uh, I believe they're also available on the Natasha Denona site as well. Um, I don't know if they're in store yet, but I bet if you go onto the Natasha Denona Instagram page, uh, or Trend Mood 1, you'll definitely find more information about that. But I will leave links down below in my description box as I always do. If you celebrated the 4th, again, I hope you had a good one. I hope it was happy and safe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.